mean, when we look at that issue of treating symptoms, yeah, there's more money in treating symptoms. There is no doubt about that. But when we look at that model and say, has it been successful? If we look at the current medical machine, we find that the largest killer on the planet as of last month remained heart disease with cancer, a black caviar's nose length behind. Uh, and the third killer until a month ago, or three months ago actually, was, was stroke. Strokes become number four, the third largest killer of prescription medicine now. And that's sort of, you know, some kind of indictment on a, on a failed, a bankrupt symptom treating system. If we look at veterinary science, we find that in 1900, dogs lived until 18. The genetic potential of a dog is 23, perhaps not some of the new hybrids, but Generally speaking, dogs have lived till that long. We know that's what they're capable of, and 18 was their time span in 1900. So we bring in veterinary science, and by 2000, the average age of a dog is eight. Now, you know, that's an, an argument about the bankruptcy of a symptom treating system. And then we look at the agricultural model, where if you, if you have a good look at this, and you can Google to check, every year, I call the last 100 years, the chemical experiment in agriculture, where rather than getting back and saying, why have we got a fungal disease, it's not a deficiency of a fungicide. Uh, rather than looking at that link, we've treated our, sim our symptoms with farm chemicals. The problem with that model is that every year since we started, and it's about 10 decades long, that experiment, we put more chemicals on, and every year, without exception, there's a global increase in pest and disease pressure. Last year it was 14.7% increase, which represents hundreds of thousands of tons of more chemicals. The previous year, 14.2, the year before that, 13.7, the year before that, 13.3, every year more and every year less response. Obviously, that's a hiding to nothing. It's actually the definition of the word unsustainable. And so if there's a better way to look at it, uh, we certainly need to look at that. 